Welcome back to Alchemist Tarot, serving tarot straight up. So, this is the weekly general reading for March 21st to the 27th. I pulled a couple cards on TikTok, so I'll go over some of the um, energy that I've been getting. Um, and then I'll focus on uh, money, career, and relationships. So, this is general. As always, it will not be for all of you. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe if you're a return subby. Always appreciate that you're here. So, um, let's go ahead and start. So... The cards that I pulled were kind of overview over the week and kind of energy on what maybe some of you have been going through recently or presently and what you need to start focusing on, okay? Or what's to come, I should say. Page of Wands and then we got the Three of Cups. So for some of you, you're starting to, and I feel like you've really put a lot of attention, time and energy back into yourself. Um, maybe you've had to kind of remove yourself from a group of people or a person and really starting to realign on, again, what you really want to do. And it's almost like you have this like sense of not only freedom, but sense of self and excitement. Maybe you're, you're feeling this like burst of creative energy. You're starting to feel like, gosh, I'm finding my footing again. That's really exciting. And with the Three of Cups, your vibe attracts your tribe, right? So I think for a lot of you, you've had to cut away from, again, a group of people or places or things that really didn't help you evolve or grow or add value to your life. And then you're starting to break through and starting to put back that energy into yourself and the things that you want to, to see actually come to fruition. And with that and staying true to yourself and staying very focused on your path and putting action, being consistent and driven... You're going to start to align with like-minded like people. The Three of Cups is reunion celebration, feeling a sense of like community, family even. So for many of you, this is something that you've been waiting for and longing for. And it's almost like when you stop searching for it, it comes. When you find you, they find you. And a lot of it is, again, having to focus what you want and who you want to become and putting energy into that. Let's see what else. Okay. Some energy to keep in mind. You have the temperance in reverse and you have the moon in reverse. Do not go back to old ways of thinking, believing, pushing stuff down, trying to bottle things up. Remember to keep a sense of balance. For some of you in the past or even kind of an epiphany, things that you're starting to notice about yourself is that you have put way too much energy in everything else but you. <laughs> Being everything to everyone trying to support or be there for or for others and that can be familial your colleagues you know um, platonic even your partner if you're in one do not suppress your your emotions do not suppress if you feel like something's off or wrong or you feel like you're being pulled into too much take a step back be honest say i can't take on more i don't want to I like having what I ha what I what I'm balancing right now. I feel like for a lot of you you've worked so hard to kind of now create a little bit more equal footing that it's almost like cr you don't want the imbalance back. No one does. It's, you know, it's like when you finally get things off your plate or you remove things out of your life that just again they don't add value. It's hard to allow that energy back in. So I don't feel necessarily that a lot of you are going to fall back into your old ways. I just, I think it's a good reminder, like not to repeat certain cir um, cycles, not circles. <laughs> don't get tangled up in anyone else's stuff, their life. Their, uh, it's, it's, they need to work on them. You need to work on you. Because what will happen is that you'll take on that emotional burden when it's not yours. Let people figure out their own crap. Okay. 
that doesn't make you less of a good friend. It doesn't make you, you know, less than a good partner or, or family member. You know, happiness starts with within. And some people just forget that it needs to start with them. You've done a lot of the hard work and heavy lifting on your, in your life. Let them do theirs. Yeah. And for so many of you, it's interesting when you cut out negative energy or when you cut out certain, again, people, places, or things, whatever necessarily resonates with you. And you start to see how your life is, is becoming more light and fun and positive and and there's things that are just like clicking and moving and the energy feels good. And you start to align with people who want to see you win and who are, you know, really rooting for you and want you to believe in yourself. And, and all those things are great. But when you start to notice people acting in their same ways, and even, you know, maybe individuals who you used to hang out with or, or be really close with, you start to see you're like, wow. I can't go back there. I've grown so much. Hangman in reverse. It's, uh, you know, it's very, it's the, the message I'm getting. It's like, you're seeing things not only from a really different perspective, but it's not from a place of I'm better than you. It's not that it's more along the lines of, I have done the work. I have gone through it. And you're seeing people who need to do that. And it's not your place to help them through that. It's theirs. So many of you are starting to notice that the people around you really can impact your energy, but how stable, how, how like stability in your life. confidence, a sense of self-worth. It's almost like the people in, in the, in the past who always wanted to keep you like, didn't want you to thrive because it made them feel uncomfortable. So it's like they felt comfortable with you where you were and who you were in the past and who you are becoming it makes them uncomfortable. That's what I'm trying to say. The king of coins, the king of pentacles, is you starting to become not only a, a leader, but really focusing on your wealth, your financial, your financial you know, landscape, like what you're trying to actually accomplish. You're becoming a lot more responsible. And not to say that you weren't, but like you're taking on a different level of responsibility because of the goals and things that you want to achieve. There's like this give and get, you know, the sacrifices that you're making or maybe something that you wouldn't have done a year ago, six months ago. But because you've worked so hard to remove yourself out of a situation, you're seeing that you only held yourself back. You're becoming the person that you always wanted to be. Okay. And for some of you, I mean, and this is really great energy, by the way. And, and we have, you know... Even though we're in Aries season, so let me take a step back. Happy birthday, Aries. Um, for a lot of us, even though you may not be in Aries, you may not have it in your top three or whatever the case is, Aries season is the beginning of the astrological season, calendars, you know, year. And even we take on sometimes those characteristics when we're in um, another sign's season. And so Aries is all about like force of nature. I don't know if you've ever met an Aries. They're great though. They have drive and they have this, you know, like surge of energy, especially if they want something. If the eyes on the target, it's always like they, if they want something, they will turn hell over to get to it and accomplish it. 
Aries are very, very determined. I feel like for a lot of you, you're starting to, to take that energy, that fiery, passionate, creative, motivating energy and start to actually make things happen. You cannot sit back and just let things unfold by chance. Take the bull by the horns and really make it happen. Okay, one more card. Well, I guess two. <laughs> Not the time to play victim. Just what I said, taking the bull by the horns and making shit happen. Three of swords sometimes is playing that like victim mentality of letting things just happen. You know, not wanting to see things for what they are. This is being brave enough to take the blindfold off and get out of your own way and say, you know what? I need to be better at this. I need to learn more. I need somebody's help. God forbid you ask for help, right? But it's getting out of your own way to ensure your success. Getting out of your head. Instead of all the reasons why you can't, Thinking of how you can. Okay? Thinking of how you can. All right. Let's pull a few cards around money, career, and relationships. And let's see. I try not to make these videos super long because we all have lives. We, you know, not everyone wants to sit and watch a YouTube video for hours upon hours. Okay? Let's just pull one more card for that. All right. A lot of changing this week. I feel like for a lot of you, you're making some pretty big decisions um, because you want to. I feel like there's an urge or, uh, that you want a significant change. You got to make, you know, sacrifices to do that. So five of wands. Um, when it comes to money, I would say, especially if you're in a household or you share finances with somebody, be really, you know, open and honest and cautious. Don't, you know, this is not the time to... Um, waste energy and fighting over money with your partner. Be open. Figure out what you're trying to accomplish and what you're trying to do. Um, five of Wands can be very combative. Maybe you feel like money needs to be sent in one place and your partner or someone else in your family thinks otherwise. You need to come to terms and figure out a middle ground, okay? Don't let a fight or disagreement or difference of opinion, you know, stop you from growing and, and moving in the same direction, okay? Um... And I feel like this can be solved just with, again, open, open conversation. Be careful of investing um, in anything super volatile. Uh, just be, just do your due diligence, do your homework, ask a financial expert, always, always, always. Um, I feel like there could be, this is the not the time to maybe overspend, be very careful um, because, you know, maybe with tax returns and things like that, maybe you're thinking of maybe doubling up on mortgage payments or things like that. It's, I feel like it, maybe that's where some of the conflict on where the money is being spent. Maybe you just, as you know, you need to really come to terms on what you're trying to accomplish. Okay. What's your end goal? When it comes to career, I feel like for some of you, you know, burnout big time, we have the four of swords. Four of swords can... I read somewhere and I don't know why I need to share this, but someone had put a video that like, I guess, I don't know if it's like energetically or psychologically or whatever, but it takes three to five years to recover from a, from career burnout. Um, so pace yourself this week. Don't overload yourself. Don't take on more projects than you need to. Um, don't be overly available. This is kind of the week to like catch up on stuff. Um, block some time on your calendar. Um, don't be so open to take lead on something. Let others, even if you feel like this is, I'm really good at this, great. But let somebody else do it. Um, this is the week to be slow and steady, Spirit is saying. You're going to need to save your strength for the weeks to come. Um, so anytime that you have a break or like, you know, a, a way to kind of just kind of fly under the radar a little bit, do that. It will help you kind of balance things out. Because again, in the next few weeks are going to be a little bit more, um, maybe stressful. Okay. Okay. Relationship related. We have um, two of coins and this is for couples. And then we have the king of swords for singles. So two of coins, a lot of balancing, a lot of um, big decisions coming up. So for some of you, and I don't necessarily think it's, it's for some of you, it could be staying in the relationship and not staying in the relationship. Sure. But I don't really get that across the board. It feels more along the lines of some big decisions you have to make as a couple. 
um, whether to move in together or maybe to sell or buy property, something like that. It's like you have to, there's this um, financial tie to it, right? So you're trying to figure out like what makes the most sense. Um, I don't know why Spirit keeps saying two minds are better than one, two heads are better than one, but for whatever, it's like you both can come to terms, I think. It's, it may not be perfect, um, but I think as long as both of you get something that you want, it's better than like one, one-sided, okay? I don't know if that made sense or not. But Spirit is saying don't take so much time to overthink every little nuance or every little thing because you won't make a decision. So because I think time is of the essence for some of you. Okay. So for singles, King of Swords. Um, I feel like for a lot of you singles, your money is on your mind right now. Not to say the King of Swords is not a great energy. Um, very intelligent energy, very independent, detached. And I think for a lot of you, you're kind of really being very focused on what you can control and what you can't. Um, singles, I think that it's not that dating's not a priority. It's just not the priority. Um, there's some big goals that you guys want to accomplish. And I feel like another person right now entering into your life, it's almost like you wouldn't fairly give them enough of your time. So it's like, why bother? That's the vibe I'm getting. Okay. So again, it's not as if it's, you know, out of the question, but I feel like for you timing and, and is it really worth it? Not only to you, but the other person. Okay. All right. So I hope you guys like this reading. Um, I'm a little tired today, so I, I feel like some of it might have been a little forced. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we'll chat very soon.